A powerful feature that is easy to use with VCDS is the auto scan function. This should always be the first thing you do with VCDS on any vehicle. For customers using one of our VIN limited interfaces, the auto scan function does not require a VIN to be submitted. You can auto scan as many vehicles as you want. How VCDS communicates with a vehicle can be broken down into two simple categories, K-Line and CAN Gateway. CAN Gateway is a modern system that was first introduced in 2004. K-Line is the old system that was phased out by 2010. So from 2004 to 2010, there is a mix of K-Line and CAN Gateway cars on the market. With the CAN Gateway vehicles, the VCDS software can automatically detect what control modules are installed. When doing the auto scan, the ignition needs to be on but is not required to have the engine running. In this first example, we are connected to a 2012 Golf, so it uses CAN Gateway Diagnostics. Let's now see just how easy it is to perform the auto scan on CAN Gateway Diagnostics. From the first screen of VCDS, click Auto Scan. Now click Start. That's it. VCDS will now perform a full system scan of the vehicle. Let's now start another scan on a 2004 Jetta that uses K-Line Diagnostics. The ignition is turned on. From the first screen of VCDS, click on Auto Scan, then click Start. VCDS tries to communicate with a CAN Gateway Diagnostics and then reports back function not supported by the gateway. With vehicles using K-Line Diagnostics, you need to select the chassis code. To identify the chassis code, look at the VIN. The 7th and 8th digits of the VIN are the chassis code, 1J in this example. On the auto scan screen, at the upper left, you can type in the chassis code into a search box. The right side window is now populated with all the different possible control modules that can be found on the 1J chassis in the world market. Click Start and VCDS will now perform a full system scan of the vehicle. Now that the auto scan is complete, let's look at what kind of information has been gathered. The type of information gathered will vary with the control modules. Here at the bottom of the list is my radio and from this I have the following information. Part number, soft coding information, firmware version, and stored fault codes. If we scroll up to address 46 for central convenience module, again we see the part number, soft coding, firmware, fault code, but this control module has slave modules listed as subsystems. Let's now scroll up to the top of the list and we find address 01 engine control module. There are two part numbers listed, a software part number and a hardware part number. Different vehicles may have the same physical control module but have different software on them specific to an application. Registered customers of Rostec can get free vehicle tech support on our web forum. We suggest all of our customers sign up for a free account. When asking for assistance, you need to include a fresh auto scan from the vehicle. Once the auto scan is complete, click the copy button. This will copy the entire results of the auto scan to the Windows clipboard. Now back out of auto scan to the first screen of VCDS and then click the about button. You will find a web link to our forum. There are different sections of the forum depending on the type of project you have please be sure you are posting in the correct section. Select Post New Thread. For the title, please document the year and model along with what system you are having issues with. Then, in the main body, put in the details describing what is wrong, what you have tested, any relevant information. Go down a couple of lines, then click the Code button. This will put the code tags into your post with the cursor between them. Now on your computer keyboard, do Control v to paste the auto scan. Click on Submit New Thread. The Rostec Forum is the best place to get help from the greatest variety of people in a place where answers will be searchable in the future as well.